We're going to be demonstrating what's called the uh, anti-saccade task, or the, the other term we use for it is eyes opposite exercise, and, and we use this, this exercise particularly to uh, exercise the areas of the brain that are associated with inhibiting impulsiveness. So uh, we're working on just over and over again, um, strengthening uh, the ability to get control, voluntary control of impulsiveness, and, and we use eye movements very, very effectively for this. And so we'll sit face to face with the patient. And so I'm just going to sit facing Michaela and uh, kind of a comfortable distance, uh, a couple feet apart here. And for this one, she's going to stare at my nose and I'm going to hold my hands up to either side where she can see them pretty easily. And I'm just going to curl all my fingers down except I'm going to put up my index fingers. And while she's looking at my nose, I'm just going to give a quick little wiggle of one finger. And when I do that, her eyes are going to look to the opposite finger. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that and then come right back to my nose. And she'll look just enough so that she can see and then in less than one second come right back to my nose. And we're going to try that eyes opposite where she's going to look opposite whatever finger I use here for several repetitions. Okay, so she did four in a row um, and then on the fifth one she had an error, she went to move the wrong direction. Okay, we'll make it so you can see her eyes a little bit better. And once again, she's going to move her eyes opposite the direction of the finger wiggle. And uh, if she goes in the wrong direction or if her eyes move um, without me um, uh, wiggling my finger, well, you, those are errors. And so we'll keep track of those. So we'll see if we can get 10 right now. So here we go. Okay, so on the fifth repetition, we had an error. And we'll try one more time. And so um, she did 10 wonderfully that time. If we're just training the repetitions uh, for those sets, then we'll just correct the patient and say, okay, come on back over here and, and move your eyes in the correct direction. Um, if we're going for the, the best she can do in a row, then of course uh, we'll stop that whenever that error is and we'll record that. So once again, we call those eyes opposite or the anti-saccade task.